You can definitely tell that uh, the hotel mini bar upstaging project that was uh, like in the previous video. I was just, like trying to give you some insight on how you can uh, upstage hotel mini bars from the comfort of your own home. And one of the fucking good news is. The upstaging project is uh, pretty much like say, all set up anyway, and complete anyway. And that's probably way more than what you're saying, hey, a typical hotel mini bar. Various types of items there and shit. Now what we're going to do now is uh, put this somewhere and uh, give you a nice little rundown. I uh, could probably upstage your hotel mini bars from the comfort of your own home. And this is way more than what you see in a hotel mini bar. More variety of offerings. Yeah, I feel like you got here up here, I got various vodkas. There's mo multiple types of vodkas here, like this is lime vodka. You've probably seen that. And this is the regular version of that absolute. And the Mandarin. And I'm sure you've seen this one already before. And some more that 101 Wild Turkey. The Jack Daniels. The Yukon. That's good shit anyway. Yeah, for Yukon Jack, it's good shit to drink straight. And you see more like various types of whiskeys. So, Clem will say, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, thirty-six. <laughs> if you if you if you use like one a figure, if you use these and whatever, that's probably equivalent like fifty-five drinks right there. <laughs> if you just use one for each of them. Yeah, I figure I got tequila here. That was a Cuervo. Never tried that, but I thought I will. Tried the wild turkey. That's good shit there anyway. See, Grim 7, because you need to have some type of variety of whiskey. Blended. There's black label scotch. Never tried the, uh, I tried, I tried, I tried the red label. I think I might end up, uh, if I get carried away, I might just end up one day buying the blue label shit. Some Irish whiskey. That's good shit there anyway. You know, you need fancy whiskey. And this is as fancy as it gets. Single barrel select Jack Daniels. And that's fancy shit there anyway. This is imported gin here. Never tried that brand. Definitely try. Uh, I tried this already. That's good shit anyway. <laughs> good shit to mix with orange. I figured that's good shit to mix with orange juice or any type of juice. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I did that. Oh, Bacardi. Man, Puerto Rico. Good shit to mix with Coke. <laughs> I tell you. Figure this could probably make one drink anyway, but. <laughs> but, but say, but figure Mother, she could probably turn that, turn that into a fucking like two drink setup. But she's like very fucking picky. She doesn't want anything fucking strong. I don't know why. <laughs> Stupidity. <laughs> oh yeah, more quality. Tequila. Because you need to have various types of brands. You need to have some type of whiskey, gin, tequila, vodka. Oh yeah, Great Goose. I wonder if this Great Goose will, make, will taste mixed with fucking Mountain Dew or something like that. I might do that. And some more vodka here. <laughs> I 
because I was making the rest of the purchases to uh, complete this uh, project was set up here. To complete this uh, mini bar upstaging setup. I ended up writing this if so I couldn't find uh, Smirnoff. Yeah, I mean, I could anyway. But even then, it has, even then this is the perfect uh, perfect way to upstage the hotel mini bars. You got a variety of whiskeys. Say so some variety of bourbon, some whiskeys, scotch. I even got fancy whiskey here, so. And you got some gins, rum, some tequila varieties. <clears throat> yeah, some tequila varieties, I mean. And some flavored vodkas. <clears throat> These flavored vodkas are fucking interesting. <laughs> like the lime vodka, that's quality shit to drink. That's quality shit there. Here's a tell for his absolutes, whatever. The one each air is like different, but these ones here are pretty much like say, word along with the rest with the uh, tequilas and the gins and all that. I figure these two here, these absolutes right here. Or buy at a liquor store somewhere. And you got the vodkas. Those are all online. I figure if you had a hotel me bar with all these offerings here, you'd probably be paying a gut you'd probably be paying like fucking hundreds of fucking dollars. You'd probably be paying like say You'd probably pay. You'd probably be paying the equivalent of say, even then for what this would cost you at a hotel mini bar. <laughs> you could probably make a goddamn monthly payment on a fucking uh, on a goddamn uh, on a, on a fucking uh, fully loaded Escalade that could do everything except fucking blow you and still have money to fucking spare. But this would probably what the hotels would charge you for all this shit here, and their mini bars. They pay all that fucking money. They could probably make a goddamn. I'm gonna have to pay him out of fun. I guarantee it's probably way more than what <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay him out of goddamn <laughs> foil of Cadillac that could do everything except blow you. I mean, foil I talk about foil of Escalade. But I don't, uh. Or it probably costs, probably maybe, well, probably costs, probably may just cost as much as what a monthly payment on a, uh, of a Mercedes would be. Charge you a fucking arm and a leg. Fun part of all this is I could put this in a, in a uh, plastic drawer here with room to spare. Yep, room for the fucking spare. Makes a nice display anyway. A cheap plastic door I managed to get for nut for free. Because it was it was uh falling out of use. <laughs> 